Hey everyone, it's Pauline from Stamp with Pauline Stamp and Stampede and today I'm actually going to case a card from the catalogue. So I have got here the Celebration catalogue and I really like this Favoured Flowers Designer Series paper that you can earn for free when you place a $90 order with me. Um, I really liked this card and I'm actually going to case it but I am using just the Designer Series paper that I have fussy cut out. It does coordinate with the Fragrant Flowers bundle from the new current um, mini catalogue so you can get the stamps and stamp um, your own images um, but I really just wanted to do the designer series paper here and show this card. So what I've done is I have fussy cut out the flowers from the designer series paper. I have cut a large circle from some very vanilla um, cardstock and I have a base of very vanilla and I've got a rectangle of designer series paper this is the other side and this is the side that I've actually cut these flowers out I've got that so what I did was I just made a simple layer so I'm just going to grab hold of my multi-purpose adhesive and pop that over the top of my base card this is the advantage to the samples in the catalog so we get stuck for ideas and you can always tweak them so it is an advantage to um, having a hard copy of a catalog or just jump online there's plenty of ideas on Pinterest but casing a card is a really good starting way um, just getting back your thoughts and creativity so then what I've done is I just have a piece of the designer series paper and it was a, um, a small rectangle um, and all I've done is just taken off. I haven't even measured it. I just did a quick eyeball and went, yeah, that looks good. So I'm going to pop that down. And what we're also going to do is just take our um, circle and I'm gluing that down into here and I'm going to actually raise up my um, flowers at least the top ones so I'm just going to pop a few dimensionals on there this flower here is actually missing the leaf but that's okay because what I'm actually going to do is position that one about there and then this one will actually position and cover up where it has lost its other edge so that way you get the most out of all of your designer series paper it's a great way um, so don't feel that if you um, haven't got enough paper just manipulate it the way you can and um, yep all right and then the other option you can do is when we open up the card um, just to decorate the inside just this leftover piece here and all I'm going to do I'm just trying to work out whether I want to lay it here and chop off my edges or have it this way on the edge here and then you can write your message so I quite like that so just a way again of using up all the little bits of the designer series paper and making the most of our free paper so you can earn this for free and it's just a great little way of getting all of that out of it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a piece of Calypso Coral um, coordinating cardstock it goes with this designer series paper pretty well and I have the beautifully happy stamp set this again is another celebration item you can earn this one for free when you purchase $180 worth of products 
And anything from either catalogue is a qualifying amount. So once you've reached 180, you can get this one for free. And I'm going to be using um, for a very happy birthday. I'm right into making a lot of birthday cards at the moment because um, I tend to use those more and I sell a lot more um, birthday cards. And so it does make it a little bit um, easier and it's quite good so great way to do that then i'm going to grab my versamark ink pad and i'm not too fussed about where it goes because i am going to cut it up all right then i'm going to add let me just pop that out of the way bring this over sprinkle on some white embossing powder and just flick off that excess and now I'm just going to go and heat that up and I'll be back in two seconds okay so I have now heated that up and made it go all shiny and I'm going to add some more liquid glue whoops more liquid glue to this side and then what I'm going to do is just add some black twine and I'm going to just add that onto here using some mini glue dots. So I'm just going to grab my take a pick tool. Okay, so I have put down my glue dots and I've tied a bow with the black twine and I'm just going to spread out my two loops and loop those down onto there and that is the card so I've just cased that it's really simple to do just fussy cut out some of your designer series paper might even add some bling to this if you really wanted to as well and then we have the inside of the card so that is a really quick easy way and you can easily make lots of cards just cutting out your designer series paper so if you want to place an order let me know all right see ya what we love, what we do, makes a